Hi, Mr. Tig. I have a small problem for you. I'd like to put a bigger flag on this flagpole, and my husband says it can't be done. But when there's a will, there's a way. So why can't we just move this little islet, and uh, that way we can put a bigger flag pole, a flag on this pole? Um, could you please help me prove my husband wrong? I'd really greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and I received an email from Kathy. Uh, now, Kathy sent me a project, and her note said this. I bought a brand new flag for my flagpole. This flagpole goes on my boat. Now, the concern that I have is that this flagpole is made of marine-grade stainless steel, and I need for you to cut off one of these loops here extend it for my larger flag. Can you do it? And can you please prove my husband wrong? Well, Kathy, I can tell you this, that marine grade is different. Uh, so he was correct in that it was different than a standard 304 stainless. Marine grade is typically a 316 stainless. And what makes it different is it's got a, a better corrosion resistance to it. So 316 has a little higher uh, nickel in it, and it also has quite a bit of chromium in it. So salt water doesn't affect it so badly. But the fact is, we can repair it because we happen to have some 316 filler material. So what we're gonna show you today is that we're gonna cut this off, polish it down, extend it. We're gonna move it down to this black line. So we're gonna bring it down about two inches and weld it back on for you. Uh, then we'll send everything back to you and you're good to go. So let me get my gear on and uh, I'll start the cutoff procedure. Okay, I use the abrasive cutoff wheel, kind of like a slit, and uh, I, I cut this off. I'm salvaging it. I'm going to weld this one back on with the 316 filler material. Now, I, I had a little extra material on there, so I had to go up to a belt sander and I buffed it off. Well, when I say buff, it puts some scratch marks in there. So it's not as smooth a finish. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the finishing wheel that we've got. And it's a medium grit. Uh, it's a deburring wheel. It doesn't put a polish, but a near polish. So uh, I'm gonna do that, weld this on, and I'm gonna send it back to the owner. Okay, I'm using a 316 filler and uh, the diameter of this filler is 1 16th. So it's uh, pretty hard to work with. I'm just doing a little bit of a weave just to kind of wash it in. I don't want any crevices in here. That's, that's where salt water will try to get in. And I, uh, I don't want to get this thing too hot. It'll start oxiding and it's hard to brush that off. So I'll let it cool a lot in between. Okay, now that we welded it in place, it's going to leave a lot of bluing, especially when you're just in an isolated area. You'll see the heat build up a lot, so just weld a little bit, add a little bit of filler, let it cool down, and you'll have a lot of starts and stops on this thing. So we've got it in place. Uh, we've got the right dimensions. We're going to uh, reattach the flag and uh, send it back to Kathy. So Kathy, thank you for writing in to us, and thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.